Hi, so in this video, I'm going to cover the concept of JSSC CA certs. So here you can see I'm getting the PKIX path building failed error. In the previous video, we fixed it by downloading the root cert and then importing it to CA certs file, uh, CA certs store. But now we are going to do the same thing and import it in JSSC CA certs file. So it's a concept where uh, if you create a store and call it JSSC CA certs and put it in lib security or JRE lib security, then it will uh, be read first and all of your custom certificates will be read from it. This is a better option because if you if you keep JSSC CA certs as part of your project, then when doing deployments, you can actually add a step to copy the file every time you deploy to copy that file to the JDK JRE lib security or lib security, or if it if it is not JDK, it's uh, just runtime JRE then in the lib security of that. By doing so, you have your store, uh, your trust store in your version control, you can add certificates, you can remove them, and then uh, you can deploy it as you go. This also means if you do Java upgrades, every time Java is upgraded, it will have its own CA certs. So you will have to now manually import the certificates in CA certs. But if you have it in this file, which is separate from JDK, you can just add it as part of your deployments. So in this case, what we will do is in order to resolve this, we'll, we'll do the same thing. So let's do this. We'll use the root cert. We do the root cert because it is valid for more years and the underlying certs because of the certificate chain. If you use the root cert, then underlying cert is automatically accepted by the program. Okay. 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 So let's go here. So I'm in my lib security and you can see currently it's only CA certs. So let's create GSSC CA certs. It needs to be of type JKS. If I don't provide that store type, then it will default to PKCS12. And then Java will give us an error because it won't be, it will, it will find the name, it will try to read it, but it won't be able to. So let me just say key store, let me just say PKCS12. So it's a uh, different, it's just like we have JKS, PKCS12 is also a different type of format. So I'm going to say key tool hyphen import hyphen file from to key store JSSCC certs. And then the store type is of JKS. I'm going to keep default password of change it because that is the password for CA certs as well. And with if the password is change it, then the program can just read the store as it will try the default password. If we change the password to something else, then we will have to provide the same thing in system parameters, but I'll cover that in a separate video. So now I didn't add the alias. So it will generate a random, it's not random, I think it uses my key. Let's do this, let's give it a alias. Let's do this and let's say alias bad SSL CA. Change it. Yes. 
So we have the GStore. If I say key tool hyphen list hyphen key store. So one entry bad SSL underscore CA. Now let's run it. It will read the key store and it'll work. Let's see. Yeah, it works. So we can so using this concept, what we can do is we can move this key store as part of the application and then every time we deploy we just deploy it to the lib security so that way when jdk gets upgraded we are not impacted uh, as we don't have to import the certs but there is another way a better way of doing it where instead of using jsse or ca certs you create a key store and we call it whatever we want to like my app dot key store or my app just my app store uh, my app trust store and then we give it a complex password and then if we use that one uh, we can pass the password as part of secrets in the pipeline and then we can keep it uh, in the application directory so that is a better way but I'll cover that in the next video because we will then have to use system properties and define user and define the path and the password. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.